center toe cracks occur basically because this foot had an abscess or gravel in the toe somewhere as a young horse developed an abscess that popped at the top of the foot, destroyed the lamellar tissue junction between the sensitive and the non-sensitive, rearranged the papilla that give normal horn growth, and now you've got a permanent scarred in area that is a weak point. If this foot becomes dished, flat-footed, does not have good wall strength and continuity, then you're going to have a toe crack. That's one reason I, I prefer to never have these abscesses to pop at the top. I want to stop them long before they, they rupture to coronary band. Toe cracks do not spread under weight as a lot of people think. They close when loaded. They do not open at the toe because most toe cracks are not full thickness at the toe. And this is due to the fact that there is a white line there that ties the sole to the wall and this white line is not severed. It is not a crack through the white line. Toe cracks are only full thickness at the top. If you watch them very closely as you pick the opposite foot up, you'll see the crack closes under load. The technique that I prefer is to hold that crack apart, which is the most normal position of those two halves of wall, during the healing process. For years I had pulled cracks together, and yes, I've had luck healing them pulled together, but if you will notice, if you pull the cracks together, you cause the coronary band to prolapse or to push upward. The scar formation that forms almost every single toe crack has a prolapsed appearance, meaning the scar has formed with the wall pulled together tighter than it should be. Why do you have to patch these things? Why do you have to reconstruct the foot? Many of these horses become quite lame due to abscessation. The abscess is caused by continual healing and tearing as the foot moves in and out. If the abscess is involved, they're very painful. The abscess can become very dangerous because it's only a few cells away from the joint surface of P2 and P3. Heavy brood mares have slip folds because of a painful response to a toe crack. Valuable brood stock with toe cracks have a shorter life expectancy just due to the fact of wear and tear of that foot. Simply construct a band of 10 gauge metal Make it like a banana so it fits the contour of the foot. Drill holes 3 sixteenths in diameter. Clean the crack up, not to go to the bottom, but just to clean the debris out. Apply an egg bar, heart bar shoe just for structural support, the full support shoe. This will stop the sole from sagging to some degree by putting pressure against the frog. Pick the foot up, apply the band in an unloaded position so that when the foot is placed down, there is full support on either side of the crack, holding the crack apart. The coronary band will heal in a more normal position. Healing will be occur much quicker. The foot will continue to grow down. The band is taken off and replaced at every reset because if it's allowed to grow down, it defeats the purpose of the structural advantage of this band. I use number eight pan head half inch screws. I do not snip the ends. If you feel more comfortable snipping the ends, do so after you have started the screw. When placing these screws, remember you must push in firmly and turn slowly. If you screw it in too quickly, you strip your threads as you go, losing pur purchase to those screws and they'll back out. Once I've applied them very snugly, then I put acrylic over the screws to tie them all together, this way they don't back out. Success with this particular technique has been exceptional in my ex experience. We, we see approximately two to three hundred cracks a year through the practice. If you reset this band, you back the dish up, support the foot, most of these cracks respond quite readily to this therapy. Treatment basically consists of just daily maintenance, making sure your screws are not loosened, making sure your shoe stays on nicely. Reset at appropriate time. 
As you get horn growth, remember you got to take the band off, set it back up. And I will may do this three, three to four times in real severe cases. Remember, the more times you have to reset the band, the more holes you have to grow down. You don't want to fill the foot completely full of holes because this becomes a problem once they get to the ground surface. There again, if you allow the band to grow down too far, then you'll have a crack appear at the top of the band and run back up again. The dish of this foot must be backed up. You've got to keep these things backed up. As you can see, as the dish forms, the sole drops the proportionate amount. You will not see a horse with a full thickness toe crack of chronic nature with a concave sole because it's all tied together. Reconstructing the foot so that you are, do not have a sagging sole is part of the physical nature of this band. You're actually supporting the sole by stopping the wall from collapsing. Treatment has been very successful in this manner. It's a very cost-effective approach. It's quite easy to apply these bands. It's very quick to shape and apply them. These bands are now available on the, on the market so where you do not have to make them up yourself. It's so much more cost effective than the old patch system that I used years and years ago, which was tight, very time consuming, was successful, but then again, it was not cost effective. I think you will find it, it'd be quite easy to repeat the success that I have found with this particular procedure.